What's good with y'all? Scorps of Scorpionic Sag, Not the Rise of Terror Uncensored. Welcome to the channel. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you like the energy. If you want to leave a donation, I have a link in the description box below. It'd be greatly appreciated. All right. Shout out out there to all my new subscribers. Thank you very much for subbing to my channel. That's also greatly appreciated. Okay. Thank y'all for the prayers once again. It's greatly appreciated. All right. So let's go ahead and dive into the three. We're going to see what's going on. So. Y'all already know what time it is. Red Bull time. Time to get some red wings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, Lord, Scorpio. Scorpio. These two want to fly. He had the Four Cups and the Nine of Wands. That's not the original cards. But... Uh, let's see. What do we have for Scorpio? Holy Spirit. Ooh, Temperance, Balance and Harmony. The Temperance card wanted to fly out. Angelic Guidance. Hmm. Let's see, what do we have for Scorpio, Holy Spirit? What do we have for Scorpio? We have for Scorpio. Holy Spirit, God, Archangel Michael. Holy Spirit, God, and Archangel Michael. What do we have for Scorpio? This will not resonate with all scarps, but if it is something positive, take it in, take it how it resonates, okay? And taking it and manifesting into your reality if it's something positive. Alright. The scarp you need to know. Okay, two more times. Here's one. Hate when the cars do that. Here's the last one. There we go. What do we have for Scorpio? Holy Spirit. God, Archangel Michael. The Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy at the bottom of the deck. Something could be coming in unexpectedly. Cup of love, Scorpio, the page of cups. Somebody crushing on you out there. This is a new individual. You could be dealing with a new individual right now that, that has a lot of emotion for you. This could have happened unexpectedly. I'm not going to go ahead and rush to read like that, but this is the page of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Somebody new, Scorpio. I see somebody new coming into your life. This is a new energy right here. A fresh start with somebody new. This is also a reconciliation card. Okay. But I get the energy that is somebody new. To those out there that have moved on from exes. Okay. I'm also put that out there. This could be somebody new entering your life. Communication. Communication with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Or Scorpio to the ones that still haven't got over an ex. That you're still waiting on some communication from an ex. It could be happening. Okay, because this person still has a lot of emotion for you, Scorpio. Still a lot of emotion. Still a lot of that playful energy. You know, crushing energy. That's what it is. And I see them wanting to communicate with you. Take an action to do so with the magician. Scorpio, either you or your person, an ex that you haven't heard from, okay? Either you or an ex that you haven't heard from or somebody new could be taking some action. Okay, there's actions being involved here. There's definitely some actions being involved, manifestation. Somebody could be manifesting a reconciliation, okay? To some scarves, if you've been manifesting that, that's going to happen. Communication is coming in. They still have love for you. To the ones that want to X back and stuff like that, etc. To the ones that's waiting on somebody new or you come across somebody new. You're dealing with somebody new. I see them taking action, communicating with you. The Four of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Somebody's still hanging on, Scott. Somebody's still hanging on. 
This is the watcher card too. That's a form of watching. It's a watcher card. This person's definitely hanging on to something. It's like they don't want to let you go, Scorpio. Maybe you keep this person grounded. That's another thing that I get from here. The Pentacles is all about the Earth energy. That's about groundedness. You know what I'm saying? The Four of Pentacles. Scorpio. Scorpio. You got the damn Empress. You got the Empress involved. <laughs> you got the Empress involved. <laughs> what you gonna do? Get them pregnant? You gonna let them get you pregnant? <laughs> yeah, let's just say uh, the hell wouldn't have a baby party. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can see y'all sitting outside by a fire one night and be like, you know what? The hell with it. This is baby making weather. <laughs> yeah. Y'all could be done with a Taurus, okay? This is the Taurus card right here, the Empress. There's a lot of love here, Scorpio. This person got a lot of love for you. A lot of love for you, damn it. Somebody watching, oh yeah. That's the Watcher card too, the Empress. Somebody definitely keeping an eye on you, Scorpio. Somebody definitely keeping an eye on you. I feel it strong coming off that Empress energy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of attraction. There definitely is a lot of attraction. Okay, a lot of attraction. And when somebody feels that strong for you, that strong attraction for you, you can bet your ass they're going to take that action and communicate about it. Because they still hanging on to you, Scorpio. You keep this person grounded. This is Taurus energy too. I get from the earth elements like that, I get groundedness. That's what I get from that energy. They definitely still feel a lot of attraction for you, boy. You a masculine, you a feminine. Yeah. The Ten of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This person could be feel like the... Uh, it's like they don't want this to come to an end. That's what I'm picking up from this. They don't want this to come to an end. Or there could have been betrayal in the past. Okay, that could have been betrayal. But I'm picking up on this person don't want things to end. That's why they're holding on. They don't want things to end. The Two of Swords. Yeah, it's like this person's confused. It's like they're confused because they don't want things to end, but they felt like it ended. You see what I'm saying? It's like they don't know which way to take. Very confused. It's like they still feel all this for you. And they feel like things have ended, but it, it hasn't. Like, they feel deep down that it hasn't ended. And it's leaving them in this confused energy. That's what I'm picking up on. The Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Yeah, it's like maybe this person can't see that clearly, Scorpio. Maybe this person can't see clearly. They're just basically contemplating. They're contemplating. The Seven of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They're def you're definitely on their head, Scorpio. You're definitely on their head. This person could be dreaming about you a lot. Look the face up in the cup right there. Look at that face. They could be dreaming about you a lot, Scorpio. Wishing for reconciliation. Wishing, to come, wishing for things to go back to the way they were. Or they could be wishing things never ended between the two of you. It's leaving them this confused energy. See? I 
I see them wanting to manifest you through their spiritual side, Scorpio. The magician, and you have the seven of cups here. That's all about being in their head. See? Like, oh, I wish for all this. See what I'm saying? This person could be thinking about you very intensely, Scorpio. You could be picking up on it through telepathy. You could be picking up this person through telepathy. Because look at this face right here in this cup. Look at that face. Five of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Hmm. There could have been others involved, Scott. There could have been others involved. And they feel like the situation come to an end. Leaving them in this confused energy. It's like they think about you all the time. This person thinks about you all the time. Or they may feel like they have to compete for your attention, Scorpio. This person may feel like they have to compete for your attention. <coughs> Which is why they can have that strong attraction for you. Because they know other people want you. They know other people want you. This competitive energy, that's what I'm picking up on. Not really a fight or argument, but it's competitive energy. Maybe they, maybe this person sees other people want you. And that's making you more attractive to this person. It's, it's like the energy that's vibrating around your aura, Scorpio, is just, it's intense, bro. Like a strong, strong magnetism. And them feeling like they have to compete for your attention for once, them feeling like they have to compete for your attention, is highly attractive to them. It's like, wow, other people want Scorpio. That's right. That's right. You, you got people slinging chairs. You got people slinging baseball bats. I mean, what the hell? They're going to grab a chicken. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're going to grab, you know, man. <laughs> what they going to do? Pull out a pool net? You know what I'm saying? A pool net? <laughs> that you clean the pool out with? They, what, they going to throw a vacuum cleaner next? <laughs> yeah, let's just pick up. Oh, shit. Let's just pick up a guitar and sling a guitar across the living room. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get real crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just have a whole remix of a wrestling match. A live wrestling match. Pulling guitars out of everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Pulling guitars out of everywhere. Amplifiers. <laughs> yeah, you can make some music then. You know what I'm saying? You be having people tap dancing, and then you be hearing a bunch of thumping going on inside. <laughs> oh, shit, what's that? Let's call the cops. Cops come over here. They just going to make some racket, too. You know? The hell is going on in this house? <laughs> we just play a musical chairs, officer. Check you out, Scorpio. You got you got people competing for you. You got people competing for you, and this person sees that highly attractive. They watching. They watching. They watching. And they feel if they was to if they were to approach you, rejection would happen. But all they can do is think about you, Scorpio. All this person can do is think about you. You could be feeling this person through telepathy. Just like I said, look at that face in the cup right there. You could be feeling them very strongly through telepathy. And it's leaving them in this confused energy. What should I do? They feel like things have ended in the past. It's, it's like the feelings that they still feel for you hasn't died yet. It hasn't come to an end. That's what I'm picking up on that. And they don't know which way to go because of this. Like, I feel this for Scorpio, but, man, like, I got to compete for them. So all they could do is sit back and contemplate. 
but they're hanging on to you tightly too. I see them wanting to take action or Scorpio or communicate with you. I, I do definitely see this person reaching out and communicating with you, taking action to communicate with you because there's a lot of attraction here. And they still hold strong emotions for you too. Definitely. Definitely. <clears throat> this person definitely has a lot of attraction. Because of this right here, the Five of Wands. I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Ten of Swords uh, just to make sure of something. Clarify the Ten of Swords, Holy Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Too many cards. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's like the things that you both planted or they planted with you, it's like it's over. They they feel like it's over. But yet they don't. If that makes any sense. It's like should I keep on putting my time into this? Even though I feel like things are over, that's what I'm getting. Clarify the Five of Wands, Holy Spirit. Too many. <clears throat> the Nine of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Yeah, they could be mentally conflicted too, Scorpio, because they feel happy for you. That's another thing that I'm getting, okay? The storylines are changing. They could feel mentally conflicted. Mentally conflicted because they, they do feel a lot of... This is a lot of happiness and emotion right there. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, Scorpio. This person is mentally conflicted. Because you have a lot of mental cards here. Like contemplating. This is all about mental. Sitting there in their head. It's all about mental. That's what I'm picking up on, especially this right here. That's in their head. What is the final outcome of this situation? Holy Spirit. Wow, that one flew. Fear. Exactly, fear. <clears throat> fear is holding them back, Scott. Fear is holding them back. Fear is definitely holding them back. That's the final outcome. Fear is definitely holding this person back. But they can move, though. They can move. They're just not seeing clearly. This person gets in their head way too much, Scorpio, is what I'm picking up on. This person sits there. Uh, procrastinates? I think that's a word. If I'm saying it wrong, hey, just go along. You know what I'm saying? This person could just be doing a lot of contemplating like it's it's a over it's a rumination it's a over and over and over thing like just being in their head they're making something out to be nothing that's what i'm getting they're making something out to be nothing because this is all about illusions of fear okay but it can also stand for fear though them not being able to see clearly what's in front of them due to illusions 
But just like I always tell y'all in my other videos, they can step forward. They're not really trapped. They can step forward. But you had the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. That's about taking action too. Fast movement. Then you have movement right here. The Eight of Wands. Taking action. I do see them eventually taking action. I do see them taking action. As soon as they realize that, that okay, I'm just in my head. Like I'm overthinking things way too much. I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking it. Because they know that they're happy with you. It's a lot of mental, it's, yeah, it's a lot of mental conflict. That's what this person's dealing with at the moment. It's a lot of mental conflict. It's like they go back and forth. <laughs> they go back and forth. Like, I want to, uh, I want to, uh, just go for it. Just go for it. There's nothing holding them back. There's nothing holding that person back. As soon as they can realize this, then they will come forward. They will come forward. If you had the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, that stands for unexpected communication, fast movement. Take an action. This is an action card right here too, the Magician. So you have three action cards. Okay, you had the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You have the Eight of Wands. You had the Magician. So right now in their head, but they tell you, Scorpio, they, they feel this for you, bro. They feel that for you. If this is a new person, okay, this could go for somebody for their ex, all right? I am picking up on both. It could be for ex or for the, the Scorpios that have gotten over an ex. This could be for somebody new, Okay. May, maybe they don't want to end up betrayed. If they put their time and effort into this, maybe they don't want to end up betrayed. And it's keeping them in a confused state of mind. But all they can do is, is think about you and wonder about you. But at the same time, they could be fearing rejection. Because they because they sense that you have a lot of competitors out there. Like you have a lot of co uh, people competing for you. Competing for your attention. So they feel as if they if they was to put their time into this, would it end into that? You know what I'm saying? That's what I get from those two. Like I would love to have that with Scorpio. Like they're thinking about all kind of things. I would love to have all kind of things with Scorpio. But at the same time, I don't want to put my time into the Scorpio if this is going to happen with all those competitors. You see what I'm saying? Because you make them really happy. Wish fulfillment. There's a lot of attraction here, Scorpio. I'm telling you, there's a lot of attraction. That can cause people to uh, be in fear, too. Not wanting to make a move. But I do see them uh, making a move after they get out their head. They're too much in their head. They go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's what they do. They go back and forth like that. But the final outcome of the situation, Scorpio, is the Eight of Swords. I'm going to go ahead and see what your feelings are. I'm going to see what your person's feelings are. Well, you, you already know what your person's feelings are. How does Scorpio feel about this person, Holy Spirit? What are Scorpio's current feelings for this person? Oh, the Queen of Wands. You definitely have some sexual attraction towards this person too, Scar. You definitely feel some attraction towards them. There ain't no doubt. You could be keeping an eye on them too. <laughs> Just to watch a car too. What y'all gonna do? Sit there and watch each other? <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's to watch a car too. Scorpio, I see you having a lot of attraction. It's a lot of attraction. A lot of passion. You definitely feel this person, Scorpio. You definitely feel it. Definitely feel it. How does Scorpio see this person? 
How does Scorpio see this person? Too many. How does Scorpio see this person? Holy Spirit. Too many. Well, they have one that flipped over. They had a two of wands, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull these two because these wanted to come out the last time. Whenever those three cards fell. You see this person as successful, stable. You also see this person as somewhat of a party person. This person could enjoy partying with the three of cups. Yeah, you could see this person as successful, Scorpio, stable, but also a party person. You could have met this person at a party or a get-together. doesn't have to be. That's what I'm picking up on. You also see them like this, caught between a rock and a hard place. Having trouble decide. What is the mutual feelings between Scorpio and this person, Holy Spirit? What is the mutual feelings? <laughs> Justice. Excuse me. Justice. Balanced. You both are definitely balanced. It's, it, yeah, it's like you have this balance between one another. You can see it, uh, one another as equals too. Balanced like that. Like it's an equal give and take. Yeah, because you do see eye to eye. You do see eye to eye with the Queen of Wands. It's like it's a balanced perspective that you both see each other as. You both feel that too. What is the mutual feelings between Scorpio and that person? Holy Spirit. Ooh, that one flew. The Seven of Swords. Maybe the two of you try to run. That's what I'm getting. Maybe the two of you try to run from it. Or maybe you don't know how to approach it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, let me play it cool type of type of uh, energy. Let, let me just play it cool. Kind of sneaky, but kind of cool. Let me just play it cool. <laughs> All right, another card. Mutual feelings between Scorpio and that person. Not not being directly honest about it, but playing it cool. You know what I'm saying? Playing it cool. Yeah, exactly. With the Knight of Wands. <laughs> the mutual feelings between the two of you are balanced, but... It's, it's almost like you play it cool. You're playing it cool and you both have this in and out energy. With the way you feel. Like, ha ha ha. <laughs> ha. You keep it intriguing and mysterious. That's what I'm picking up on. You keep it intriguing and mysterious to both of y'all. But also balanced, though. You both you both can feel spontaneous, adventurous, exciting. It's like you don't want to tell each other how you feel, and that's what keeps it exciting. Like you y'all both just play it cool, like y'all running around out there. <laughs> Yeah, let's just take, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like y'all both trying to play it cool. Y'all both playing it cool with one another. Not really wanting to be honest about it. And keeping it exciting at the same time. 
also balanced. That, okay, if you both feel this way, then yeah, that would be a balance. That would be a balance right there. That's a mutual feeling. Scorpio. What I'm going to do with y'all, man? That's what I have for y'all, all right, Scott? For the mutual feelings between the two of you. Got Justice, Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands. Not being completely honest with each other with how you feel, but both bouncing around. <laughs> Just like a ping pong ball, huh? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, let's just lie about how we, you know what I'm saying? Let's just play it cool. Let's just slide it under the radar. Let's not tell anybody how we feel. Let's just continue hiding it and making it exciting at the same time. Maybe that's what's keeping that attraction at a high level. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all both definitely feel the same way. Y'all both definitely feel the same way. But this person's in fear, though. This person's in fear. You got this person in fear, Scorpio. They don't want to say it. They don't want to say it. It's like they run like, oh, no, no, no. But that's what I have for y'all, Scorpio. Okay? Okay. <laughs> 